Hi, I am Annie Dale Brown, and thank you for joining me for the positive word of the day. Today, our positive word is perception. Perception is what you interpret. It's your understanding of a given situation, person, or object. It's the meaning you assign to any given stimulus. Perspective is your point of view. It's the lens you see the world through, and it determines how you view yourself, others, and everything else around you. So, your perspective or your point of view can shape your perception, how you interpret things. Why is this important? Well, based on our culture, our age, location, and other demographics, we might perceive things differently or the same. Politicians know that perception is everything. They use a lot of time and a lot of resources on how they are perceived. They want to be perceived as leaders or they want to be perceived as someone you can trust. If you married, you may have given some consideration on how you were perceived by your spouse. If you're in business, you have to give a lot of attention to how you are perceived by your clients or your potential clients. You want to control the narrative. You want to be perceived as someone that they can trust. You want to be perceived as someone that knows your business. Parents want to be perceived a certain way by their children and their spouse. Teachers want to be perceived a certain way by parents and their students. You want to be perceived a certain way by family, friends, your employer, your church members, your neighbors. You get the picture, right? You, you control the narrative. When you're trying to control how you are perceived, you want to consider your audience. Now that includes knowing their perspective about certain things. And you learn that by being around people. For instance, you wouldn't show up for basketball practice in a business suit. You might be perceived as a person with limited basketball experience or just a bit silly. Your perception can also be motivated by your mood. Are you angry? Are you depressed? Are you anxious? Are you excited? All of that could shape your perception. I like to remember when I meet a person that I'm meeting the sum total of all of their past experiences. So their past may cloud their perception or I may see some things in how they perceive things as well. Today, I challenge you to check out how you perceive certain things. How open are you to change? How accepting are you of others? How often do you lead with love? Do you welcome people with open arms or are you kind of closed? I had to challenge myself recently because I met a person of Asian descent. Let's call him Bill. And he reminded me of someone in my past that I'm not very fond of. Let's call her Jamie. As I began to know this new person, Bill, I noticed that I was constantly comparing him to the person in my past, Jamie. I had built a wall and was remembering some of the hurt and anger Jamie caused and was distant. And sometimes I got a little annoyed with Bill. Someone asked me, why do you feel this way about Bill? I noticed that all my thoughts went directly to Jamie, and then I realized that I was treating Bill negatively based on what Jamie did, and that wasn't fair. So I had to let go of my perspective to gain a new perception based on what I'm learning about Bill. The positive word of the day today is perception. I challenge you to give yourself a checkup from the neck up and see if your perceptions are on point and positive and if they align with the person that you are. If they're not, you get to change them. If they are, give yourself a pat on the back. Notice how changing your, perspe your perception though changes others' perception of you. You might get comments that you're much more positive, more pleasing to be around. You seem happier lately. So change your perception 
and notice how it changes how people see you. Make sure you make it a great day.